Tonight, the family of a father from Tampa is one step closer to justice after his murder in January. It happened on North 24th Street and Ebor Street. Right now, these three men are behind bars in connection to his death. Yeah, his family identified him as 27-year-old Edward Edwards III. Two months after his death, they spoke only to 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio about their quest for justice. The family of Edward Edwards III say he just turned 27. Tonight, they tell me they forgive the three men arrested, but still want justice. It pains Marissa Berry. <sighs> Why not fight for him? Why not? To know her son, Edward, who went by Ivy, isn't coming back. I took this picture right here. She and his grandmother, Cynthia. Right here, he was seven. Grieve his loss every day. That was the hardest part, knowing that I got to go walk to them doctors and listen to them tell me that they couldn't save my baby. The family says Ivy was on his bicycle January 31st when he got killed. Police haven't shared why this happened. He wasn't perfect. No, he wasn't. I don't care what nobody say. He was my baby. We asked what justice looked like for the family now that police say they arrested three men in connection to Ivy's death. But yeah, I want them to get the death penalty. You kill baby, y'all need to die too. And I forgive you, but you still need to go. I guess they mom have to feel how I felt. Marissa says her son leaves behind a nine-year-old boy and a daughter turning nine tomorrow. Him and his son. Him While Marissa and Cynthia choose to forgive the men for their own sake. They tore us up. Their family remains broken. They, they took something away from us. They done, it's, it's, a, it's something that ain't gonna, we ain't going to see no more. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. Police say they identified the three men arrested using evidence from witnesses and technology like video surveillance and vehicle GPS data.